Hello everyone, and we're back with more uh, Lego Jurassic World. So I'm recording this immediately after um, the last part. And you know, it's kind of funny. In good old Oklahoma currently, and uh, in, you know, good old Oklahoma in uh, January 31st of 2022. Uh, I just want to make that clear just in case this gets uploaded like months later, uh, possibly a year later. <laughs> It won't be a year later, don't worry. Actually, uh, you know, it depends on how many parts of, uh, Ben 10 Al Omnivore, sir. Omnivore? Omnivore. No. Um, it depends on how many parts of, uh, Ben 10 Omniverse there are. And how many weeks there are in 2023. Um, but anyway, um, it is currently, uh, really, uh, cold weather. <laughs> Um, there's like ice all over the ground, um, school has been closed, that's why I'm making this Let's Play part. <laughs> um, you know, most schools have been, actually I think Here's all schools have been closed family. today, in the last few days all schools have been closed. Um, so we're kind of stuck inside. Perfect time to make Lego Jurassic World Let's Plays. You let a 12 year old go parasailing alone? No! He was with a friend of mine. Ben Hildebrand. How long have they been missing? Eight weeks. Almost eight weeks. So why me? He said we needed someone who'd been on the island before. I have never been on this island. Sure you have. That was Isla Nublar. This is Isla Sorna. Site B. Nobody move a muscle. You gotta love when morons into the island. Actually, why did the other guy move? Like the uh, the other guy who was who was digging up dinosaurs. Shouldn't he know about like? Shouldn't he know not to move? Yeah, you gotta love when like complete morons enter the island. You know. We have to be quiet. Was that about me? I'm gonna swap to this guy since that guy has the gun. Um, and I, I, I detailed my issue with the gun in LEGO games. Um, but yeah, so um, more Jurassic Park 3. Um, you know what, I've honestly thought about it. I've thought about it before. Uh, after LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga Grant. came out, um, I really wouldn't mind more a remake compilations of Lego games. Like, how about the Lego Nia and Jones? You know, Skywalker Saga. <laughs> no, uh, the Lego Nia Jones, you know, Adventure Saga or something, and it's all five Lego Nia Jones. I'm saying all five, but, um, just because this episode will, probably, will uh, might release after the movie comes out, the fifth one. Freaking excited for that! Freaking excited! I think I mentioned in the last part, I mean, Transformers, Beast Wars, Indiana Jones 5, rather take my uh, The Adventures of an Old Man. <laughs> distracted? Um, yeah, I think, didn't, like, it was, it happened, like, I think last year. Um, oh, what's, uh, what's the guy's name? No! Harrison Ford. Uh, Harrison Ford uh, had gotten into an accident on set, and it, it, it got the, the, you know, directing, or it got a filming to be delayed by like a full year. Like, it, yeah, uh, Mission Impossible, uh, The Other Adventures of an Old Man. Yeah, I wouldn't mind like a Lego Ian Jones, uh, you know, Lego, not not a collection, you know, because that's just like you know the first the the, the two games combined and one of them sucks. Um, no, but like I wouldn't mind like a Lego Ian Jones compilation, a Lego Harry Potter compilation. That would be pretty neat because um, that's like because you know that would be pretty cool because the Lego Lego Harry Potter games suck, so trying to make better ones would be great. Um, 
Um, you know, there's tons of older properties you could do. Um, but nope, Lego, uh, you know, Lego has recently announced that their Disney game that they have been working on for a while uh, is now canceled. Yay. Um, supposedly due to Disney Dreamlight Valley's success. Gotta get up there. Apparently, like, the new, well, yeah, the new LEGO game, uh, was gonna go into a different direction, which is, uh, a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, judging by how, I'm sorry, I, judging by how Skywalker Saga sucked, like, it's one of those games where I remember I did a lot, I did a live stream of it, and it's one of those games where I played it once, and after playing it, you know, like, while I was playing it, and, and right when I finished playing it, I was like, oh my gosh, that was so cool, I can't wait. And then I, I you know, I picked up the game box, uh, like, um, two weeks later, and I'm like, why did I enjoy this game? What, what fun did I have with it? It's just, it's that kind of game. Um, so, you know, Skywalker Saga kind of sucked. And apparently, the LEGO Disney game was doing concepts that were very, very similar to Disney Dreamlight Valley. Uh, which means, again, it wasn't your typical, uh, LEGO game. Um, so, but yeah, it's really weird how it would get canned just because, you know, another game did so well. That's a very odd reason for, for a game to be cancelled. Um, but anyway, so that got cancelled, so now they're working on, drumroll please, LEGO Batman 4! <laughs> Supposedly. LEGO Batman 4. So, listen here folks, we've got LEGO Batman, LEGO Batman 2, LEGO Batman 3, the LEGO Batman movie story pack, and LEGO Batman in LEGO Dimensions, and now LEGO Batman 4. Just take a second to re just take a second to reel that in of how much Lego Batman content that is. Oh, and also not to mention Lego DC Super Villain, um, which technically isn't like like you know yeah well, like Batman isn't in it the entirety, but he's playable in it. He's he's playable at the end, and there's tons of Batman villains in it. Like, look, I get it. It's owned by Warner Brothers. You know, I mean, of course they're gonna make Batman games, but like. Guys. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't mind, like, I wouldn't mind, like, other DC properties to get, you know, the Lego Batman treatment. Like, how about not just Batman? How about, like, uh, Lego Teen Titans? That would be awesome! That would be freaking cool! Lego Teen Titans? That sounds like a great idea, but no, it's Lego Batman again. With good old uh, classic Robin and not Teen Titans Robin, and uh, no Starfire, no Raven. I mean, they were there. They were in um, they were playable characters in um, in Lego Batman Three as DLC, free DLC. But that doesn't count. I mean, so. But hey, what you gonna do? I mean. They already did LEGO Teen Titans Go with LEGO Dimensions. Um, but again, you know, DLC, basically. DLC that costs $30. <laughs> it's like, I don't know if it's that great. Um, but, uh, yeah, so... Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on with LEGO, honestly. I really don't know. Um, because, you know, I... To some people, this is a good thing, and, you know, it, it, good, good for you. Good for you if you find this to be actually a good thing. But I'm a fan of classic LEGO games. I don't care how similar they are. They're all, you know, most of them are still really fun. No such thing as Kirby Enterprises, is there? It's Kirby Paint and Tile Plus. The plus stands for bathroom fixtures. Um, we're in the Westgate Shopping Center, Enid, Oklahoma. Billy, we go back to Clay and salvage what we can, and we make for the coast. Dr. Grant, we're not leaving this island without our son. Then you can go and look for him. 
Huh? You're not really a mercenary, are you? I never said I was. So? What do we do? We search for your son. In the direction that they're going. Excellent, excellent. Um... But, yeah, um, you know, I mean, good for you. You know, if you like those newer LEGO games, good for you. But, like, you know, aside from the few Harry Potter movies, I mean, Harry Potter video games, listening to me? We're gonna find um, you know, aside from the, the few Harry Potter LEGO games, all the LEGO games are great. Really great, you know. Uh, I mean, my, my I'll just list off my favorites, you know. Lego Jurassic World, Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2, Lego The Hobbit, right, um, you know, Lego Nian Jones, Lego Batman 2, Lego Batman 1. Um, you know, just fantastic games. And I mean, you know, I, I mean, I know why they would feel the need to stray from the normal Lego form. They assume that people are getting tired of it. Either that, or Traveler's Tales themselves are getting tired of it. That's a possibility, too. Um, you know, you go on, um... You go on... Uh, John Burton's YouTube channel, which he doesn't do anything anymore, the, the Game Hut channel. Um... You know, you go to the Game Hut channel, and, um... And he said before, I think in a live stream, and it, actually, yeah, a live stream, there was a Q&A that he did. Um, where, like, he enjoys making the LEGO games, but at the same time, he'd love to do other things. Um, and I think somebody in the live stream asked him, like, hey, so why do you only make LEGO games nowadays? And he's like, well, we got good with the publisher, we got good with Warner Brothers, it makes us a ton of money, they do really successful, so we'll just keep doing them. And I feel, li I feel like that answer was definitely, like, we want to do something else, but we don't want to risk... Actually, I think I think he flat out said, "Why risk a game that's going to do really poorly? You know, then stick with the formula and know that we're you know that we're in the clear." Um, so maybe they wanted to do something different, so they decided to do the the course of action that they took with Lego Star Wars: The Skywalker Saga. Uh, maybe that's what they were doing with the the Lego Disney game is doing a different course. You know, who knows? Um, Yeah, it, it is kind of funny, though, <laughs> just thinking about it. So, let me tell you a funny story. Um, hey, there's some luggage stuck up here. Yeah, let me tell you a really funny story. So, uh, I think it was about a year ago, two years ago, probably one year ago, actually. Uh, try, uh, Game Hut, which is the, you know, John Burton's YouTube channel, he released a video. And he said, attention, everyone. This is not how he talked, but he said... We are making video games based on the Funko Pop mascot. Which is like this this guy just called like Mr. Funko or something. I don't know what his name is. Um, oh, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Um, but yeah. And people went ballistic in the comments. They're like, really? You're, you, really? <laughs> I mean, Funko Pops are bad enough, but now you're making a video game entirely revolved or now you're making video games entirely revolving around Funko Pops. <laughs> um, and people were so ticked off that he actually just deleted the video. I don't know if that deal's still coming through. That video might be proof that people don't want to see that, and maybe they might have called off the deal. Um, but yeah, uh, the people went totally insane in the comments. I, I didn't go insane. <laughs> Um, I think if I, 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 I either commented nothing or I said, you know, just, just make what you love. If you're, if you really want to make a Funko Pop game, do it. Ah. You know, you know, you have all the right to. Um, but then, and then I stated like, I might not personally buy or well, yeah, I'm, I will probably not personally buy it, but if you really want to make it, then, you know, good for you. Um, but I think after the insane backlash he got from that, um, he called off, like, the deal was called off, which, you know, yeah, <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I hate to say it, but aside from one or two specific Funko Pops, Funko Pops kind of suck. Uh, I, and it's not, like, their design doesn't suck, but a lot of characters just don't, 
just don't fit. They just don't fit well in the Funko Pop style. Humans look really strange in the Funko Pop style. You know, I think only specific characters really work well in that art style. Um, and actually look like interesting designs. Um, I think I saw like a couple South Park designs that looked pretty good. Um, and that makes sense because South Park is very simplistic in its designs. Um, you know, I saw like there was a Sonic one that looked all right. There was a Cuphead one that looked all right. But again, those are very unique designs. You know, you could kind of work them in a way to fit. Uh, but like with just regular humans, like it just looks really strange. And that's what they go for most. They go for humans. And I'm like, you can't make it look good. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. You have to change it up. I think I think a really great example of um, of these really good kind of figures that have their own unique style but still look great is uh, U2s. Um, I really want to buy more U2s. I, I, well, I really want to buy Thanks, U2s. I haven't bought one. Um, but they have an extremely distinct style, but a lot of characters work really well with it. Um, and that's also because, you know, they're given the opportunity to change up the mold. You know, every character looks unique. Uh, Funko Pop, you know, something that many people have mentioned that looks kind of annoying, is each one looks the exact same. You know, each one is just basically the same mold, but maybe they move their arm in a different position. Or maybe, uh, maybe they, you know, you know, maybe they add in a gun or something, <laughs> you know, um, so, yeah. Let's see. So, ah, here we go. There we go. That should do it. Um, so yeah, people... People in ballistic and videos deleted now. And uh, I, like I said, since the video's deleted, I really don't think the deal's gonna go through. I think he would have kept the video up if the, you know, if the deal would have gone through. Why is that up there? Huh? That's interesting. That's really interesting. What's oh? Oh, stop it, man! That is a very easy way to fall off. How do you get up there? Do you like jump on the on the dinosaur? There you go. Yeah, do you like jump on the dinosaur? Oh yeah. Oh no 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 no. Oh, get back up there, come on. I never even noticed that before. I never really paid attention to it. So maybe like jump on the head? Well, yeah, the physics aren't really working with me here. Whenever I jump on the dinosaur, I either slide... Yeah, I slide off and I can't jump. Yeah, like I'm mashing the A button. I have no idea how to get up there. That's really interesting. Um, yeah, that's the way to go. Um, oh, that's really annoying. I have no idea how to get up there. Maybe there's a character that flies, maybe? Or maybe you are supposed to jump on the head of the dinosaur, but if you are, I mean, the game's not making it easy. Did I just go right through the head? Or no, the head's angled to the right, to like the back slightly, like that. Okay, no, I swear I'm going right through the head. I swear, I swear I jumped on that like three times and Come on. Okay, no, I, okay, no, I literally am. Yep, I am just going right through the head. Okay. Then how do you get that? There must have been something before I push this over that um, let me over there, because, I mean, I know if I hang glide over there, it's just going to bring me down here again. Yeah, really strange. Well, I mean, maybe I could. Uh, let me try it. Let me try it real quick. I know I'm. I know I'm wasting your guys' time, but I'm. I'm. I really want to try it here. Okay. No. Um. I guess it has something to do with like before I push this over. Maybe there was something there that I just missed. Maybe when I was talking, I just wasn't paying attention to it.
Hmm. Very strange. Um, I love how these are the dinosaurs from the first movie where, uh, you know, they, they, uh, splat it on, uh, on Nedry. Um, they splat it on, on Wayne Knight. But now we can just freaking punch him in the face. <laughs> it's like, I just find that really funny. I just find that so funny. Like, just punch him in the freaking face. It's funny how with like which with each passing movie, um, the dinosaurs that were once really uh, fearsome and, and you know and was really scary, or not really scary but like really fearsome and you know really strong, they started making them either weaker and weaker or just like like for example like you know this raptors, you freaking kicked the rapper in the second movie, um, you know and then. You, you, you kicked a rapper in the second movie, and you know you were you were like doing all that stuff, and then this movie you're you're punching the uh, well not in this movie but this game you know you're punching the uh, the dinosaurs from the from the first movie, and then in the fourth movie the raptors are your friends because <laughs> they tame them, so it's like it's kind of funny like with each passing movie they're they're taming these dinosaurs more and more. Good old freaking whatever that guy's name is. <laughs> I all right. I was gonna make a joke, and then I just was like, I don't know what I was. My brain just shut off. Like I, I, I was trying to either make a joke, make a quip, or something, and I just like it just. Nothing happened. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode, so I'll see you guys later.